video. So I got home, I put all the videos on the computer and turns out I'm a bit of a spastic when it comes to audio. So I've actually never used my Sony a7 III for video before and here's something I learned today. There are two 3.5 millimeter inputs on this camera. Well, not inputs, I should say. This one is input, that one is output. You can probably guess what I did. I plugged the wrong one, I plugged them around the wrong way. <laughs> All the audio in the video is a bit scuffed. I'm re-recording some bits now on the GoPro with the Rode mic. Um, but yeah, there's some bits that are unavoidable to have in the video, so please bear with me. I've learnt my lesson for next time and I hope it will never happen again. I'll make sure it won't happen again. Anyway, this bike is awesome. It is one of a kind. It is completely custom and heaps of thought went into every single component and piece that went onto this bike. So I'm really excited to show it. This is by far the most expensive bike that I have ever ridden. I'm going to talk a bit about the frame, where it comes from, the manufacturer of Pali. I've got Ed, the mechanic who made the bike, to talk about a few of the more interesting components. And finally, the owner of the bike didn't want to come on video, so I've got a little reenactment of how my interview with him would have gone. Also, big shout out to Keish and Pali. They supported this video uh, and they've given me some merch to give away once again. So. I've got bottle cages, I have got some water bottles, and I've got some mugs. So I'm gonna have another giveaway which I'll put at the end of this video. Parley was started in the year 2000 by Bob Parley after 20 years of experience in the boat building industry. Parley's obsession is to build the best bikes and how they achieve this is through carbon fiber molds and layering. The unique thing about Parley is that every single bike can be made completely customizable and that's not just the paint job but also we're also talking about the geometry, the carbon layup, and how you want it done. So when you buy a Parley bike, you're not just buying a premium product, you're also buying into the whole process and all the time that it takes for them to make something that's completely yours. This isn't the frame that my friend got. This is just one I found on the ground lying around the shop. Um, but I can tell you right now, this one here with the raw carbon and this nice matte gray finish, they all look fantastic. And you can, anything you like, you can get. What was the design philosophy behind this bike and was there any bits of inspiration? I grew up in the area of sex tech and fast and furious. I've always loved the creativity of what people did back then. The bike is heavily inspired by the flashy paint jobs and bright lights. The colour shifting paint was something I've just always wanted. And the goal is to make the perver pop in a crowd of black and white. You... Why did you pick Parley? What drew you to the brand? I didn't want a standard type of bike or a bike that people see often in Sydney. Harley fit the build of being something different, unique, and we're able to cater to a custom paint job. You've got quite a few custom components on this bike. Can you tell me about a few of your favourites? With the colour shifting frame and the gold wheels, I wanted to continue this further with the finer details of the bike. Gold twist king hubs, gold JRC bar tape, gold cane creek end caps, gold AB OSPW, even the gold bolts of the bottle cages. Another note was that I didn't want, I didn't want a silver drivetrain to distract from the gold. The cassette and chain are serocoated black. The disc rotors are also wavy to match the Princeton's 6560 wheels. How did Cash help you achieve this build? Cash have been, have been a huge help with parts to make the build complete. They understood what I wanted to achieve and gave options for all the various parts. All right, so here we have um, V-Man's custom Parley RZ7, which is probably the most custom of all the custom bikes I've ever built. Um, this is definitely a very cache spec build um, with everything down to the bar end plugs being meticulously chosen to match um, like a very well thought out image of this bike. This bike build is obviously one of a kind, unique, completely out there. What are some components and things about this bike that stand out to you? Well, there's really nowhere you can look and not see a custom well thought out choice. Um, up the front we have obviously some gold bar tape um, with EE wings, or sorry, e Cane Creek um, EE bar ends, um, custom machine gold to match the, um, the gold paint of the frame, of course, um, which is in this crazy colour shift from blue to green to purple. Um, 
that extends all the way up to the bottom of the stem um, as well. It's very hard to go past even the wheels, which are Princeton uh, Carbon Works 6560s with gold Christian hubs. Um, these are super limited wheels. Um, very few uh, have been imported into Australia with this, with these gold hubs. Um, even the tyres, uh, the Pirelli 150th Anniversary Edition, with gold decals to match. Um, we make our way back further. We've got Supercars um, carbon bottle cages with gold trim, gold prototyper works, uh, bottle cage bolts, um, a fully blacked out drivetrain with a black YBN chain and a custom serrated black cassette with an absolute black oversized pulley wheel with gold highlights. Um, there really isn't any way you can look on this bike where there isn't some level of custom involved. All right, Ed. If you could take one component off this bike and put it on yours, what would it be? I would honestly take the custom Cerakota cassette. First of all, these are extremely limited and we're the only people who make them. We take a brand new Jurais cassette and get a custom Cerakota um, through a special process to turn it black. And throughout the life of the cassette, it will stay this black. The, the finish does not wear off at all and I think it just makes any bike that a little bit more custom. Um, Obviously every bike comes with a, with a silver cassette and if your drivetrain is black and not from lack of cleaning, it's just that little bit of an extra flex that uh, you can say you just have just everything, it's just fully custom. Oh, custom fitted OS works, Yeah. the only ones in Australia, check out the O. This is what you want, you want the shoes that are pre-fitted, pre-fitted, pre-worn in. I'm about to ride V-Man's $25,000 Pali. Hopefully I don't bin it. I don't usually wear speed plays, so I borrowed a pair of these janky ones from, uh, from Anthony, and I'm wearing, I'm wearing Ed socks. I don't think anything can go wrong now. All right, let's go for it. The bike's over here. All right, so how do speed... Yeah, in, and then uh, click into the, towards the pedal. Five minutes later. Yeah. This is no good. Let me... No, that's no, okay. Does it need lube? Yeah. Oh, this is what happens when you only use Shimano and look for your whole life. Two hours later. It's just gonna be 15 minutes of this. Do you like ride bikes to Six and a half hours later. <laughs> oh no. Fuck. Uh. Oh fuck me. It's, it's kinda like... It, it just, you just roll in and roll into it. It shouldn't be more, a lot of pressure. I'm putting my weight on it. 2,000 years later. I don't like speed plays, man. I cannot get used to I haven't even clipped my left foot in because I'm scared. There we go. Okay. All right. Clipped in fully. All right. What can I tell you about this ride? Look, I'm not an expert. I'm not a, I'm not a technical person. I just ride bikes for fun. If I can tell you one thing, this... This bike feels like it moves on its own. I think it's the wheels. They've just got an awesome momentum to them. Every time I put a pedal stroke in, I can just feel them turning, pulling me forward. The aerodynamics is definitely there. What else can I say? G-Race DI2, you can't go wrong. Super crisp shifting, up, down, turning left. Power transfer is good. It's quite sublime. Now what can I say about the geometry? The geometry and the setup of this bike is made to be to my friend's personal bike fit. I'd say this is more on the comfort side. Personally, my Madone is in a very aggressive, but this does feel very, very comfortable. This is what 25 grand feels like, you know, there's, there's no, I don't feel any loss of watts or resistance. Great ride. Everything just feels smooth. There's no like resistance or or any like, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's like sometimes you ride other bikes and you just feel like you're losing 
yeah, little like bits and pieces of lots here and there. The so there we go. 25 Gorilla Parley. Got my matching gold sunnies. I want to take this thing home. That's an awesome, awesome ride. Just feels super smooth, super nice. You know, I don't feel like I'm losing any watts. Everything is just sublime. All right, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Really appreciate that you've, uh, that you've watched the whole thing. All right, so what I want you guys to do is comment in the section down below. What was your favorite part of this bike? Was it the gold bling? Was it some of the real custom components like the bar ends? Or maybe it was the oversized pulley wheel? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna give it a few days and then I'm gonna pick someone who I'll send the merch to. Take care, see you in the next one. Bye.